Welcome to the channel guys, and to those return viewers, welcome back. Before we get into today's Xenos video, 89.6% of the people watching our content aren't subscribed, and we're so close to 1000 subs. Just a reminder that if you do enjoy the content and you aren't subscribed, please consider hitting the sub button. Once the channel is able to earn an income, we can invest more into soundproofing where we record, purchase a more advanced editing program, and once we have enough, even purchase a second laptop so both the missus and I can edit at the same time, meaning we can churn out even more content. Okay, let's get into the video. There are many terrors that exist within the 41st millennium. Creatures so horrifying that warning pickets in the form of astral beacons are posted in the area of space surrounding whole systems, so as to ensure unwitting travellers do not meet an untimely and grisly end. But what about the monsters even the average Imperial commander doesn't know exist? There are beasts who, if the truth of their existence was made common knowledge, would terrify even hardy veterans of the Militarum. In a galaxy where mankind is only just now beginning to learn of the threats posed by some of the more ancient Xenos races, these horrors are starting to make themselves known in the most terrible way possible. We're going to dive into the story of some of the most insane, fear-inducing creatures within the entire Milky Way galaxy. Xenos whose appearance will root you to the spot in utter dread. This is the story of the Flayed Ones. Lurking in alternate dimensions, within palaces constructed of flesh and other grisly mortal trophies, the creatures known as Flayed Ones exist in an ever-consuming nightmare which forever drives them onwards in the effort to butcher and consume the flesh of the living. These lowly beasts of living metal have been encountered wherever there are bodies to be flayed, striking out from their pocket dimensions to imitate ravenous animals on some kind of gory hunt. In the dead, cold void of space, many a lifeless vessel has been chanced upon distress beacons broadcasting a last desperate plea for aid, though no sign of their previous passengers can be found. These craft are little more than floating warnings, alarms that announce sentient beings are not safe, no matter where they exist. The insane Necron flayed ones having claimed their prize, and dragged the wet, bloody remains back to their loathsome, gory dwellings. These creatures have not always been so repulsive, the unnatural hunger for flesh which drives them having infected their programming and consciousness through a malicious disease called the Flayed One Curse. You see, the entire Necron race, back in a time when they still maintained their sentience, was tricked into transferring their consciousness into bodies of living metal by cruel and rapacious entities whose power was matched only by their voracious appetites. Having successfully fooled the Necron tier race into giving up their souls, the Star Gods, called Catan, would gorge themselves on their essence. The Necrons would grow to loathe the Catan, the Silent King himself leading his much changed race into rebellion against their tyrannical masters. One such Catan, known as Landugor the Flayer, was destroyed by the vengeful Necrons. However, before his final essence faded into nothing, he would enact a curse upon the people who had risen up against their gods, damning them with a virus that inflicted a bottomless hunger upon its hapless victim. This virus spread throughout the immortal bodies of the Necron populace. It also brought on a sinister craving. Victims of the virus, longing to indulge in wet feasts of raw flesh, a dark hunger that the very nature of their necrodermis forms would ensure could never be satiated as these vile unfortunates plunged ever deeper into the depths of madness. They would by instinct gather and forge their own deranged empire in a pocket realm, away from the condemnatory gaze of others. These terror-inducing machines would begin their galaxy-spanning predation, lurking between dimensions, emerging into real space to harvest the living. Owing to the contagious nature of their curse, more sane Necrons elect to keep their distance from these malicious entities, fearing the loss of what little of their personality remains following the soul transference millions of years prior. This disdain for the unfortunate flayed ones does not stop them from sensing from their gory palaces when their race is at war in the material universe. Relishing the opportunity for harvest at hand, 
packs of flayed ones will often materialise alongside the war hosts of Necron overlords, uncaring of the disdain shown to them by their countrymen, or the risk that their curse could easily affect those they battle beside. Whilst more civilised Necrons do battle with the rodent races of the Milky Way galaxy, erasing their sinful presence in a flash of gauss fire, flayed ones emerge from their realm to lurk within the shadows of ruined cities and the craters of Pockmar battlefields, striking at the warriors of bewildered younger races with sharpened talon and contempt, flensing their skin from their bodies to drape over themselves like soaking wet garments. These unholy beasts may be found on the battlefield, a pack of them amid the innards and skin of the enemy, relishing their time, as if children playing in the entrails of others. The horror these beastly constructs provoke alone can break the morale of even the most resolute defenders, none wishing to combat them, lest they end up a similar mess of blood, gristle and meat. There is no specific dynasty that favours the service of their cursed kin, all the more civilised lords disdaining their presence. There are, however, rumours of Necron dynasties falling to the curse, doomed to stalk the stars for eternity, their necrodermous bodies ensuring their madness is perpetual, forever a blight among the younger races of the galaxy. Within the game itself, flayed ones don't see much use in the current meta, though that doesn't mean they aren't fun to play with. Given their high number of attacks compared to their point cost, Necron players can make the most of this with stratagems such as Storm of Flensing Blades for 2 CP, which allows your Flayed Ones unit to fight again, or Shadows of Drazak, which makes the opponent who wishes to target them minus one on their hit rolls to attack. The suggested video on the screen is what YouTube think you'd like to watch next, so why not check that out? Thank you for your time, I appreciate you tuning in. If you wish to support the channel, Leave a sub and check out the affiliate link for Gap Games in the description of the video. Have a good one, take it easy.